The agenda for this video is to see the inventory functionality in NetSuite. We'll be looking at some item master data. And then we'll see how item inventory configuration is done. We'll also see the item pricing configuration and then we'll look at item accounting. We'll start by logging into the NetSuite application using the URL that we have been provided. I'll enter my credentials to log in. And here I've logged in as the purchasing and the inventory manager. That gives me access to all the item inventory related setup and configurations so that we can see them in detail. To show the configuration, I'll open an item. I'll search for it by entering the data here. All the inventory related configurations in NetSuite are done on the item itself. So I'll open this form in edit mode to show you them in detail. When I open it in edit mode, I can see some data fields here which have been configured as well as some tabs which have been configured for this item. Now these data fields and forms will vary based on different form customizations that have been for your organization. In this form, we are seeing some standard data fields and tabs and then we'll discuss them. The inactive flag actually enables this item or disables this item, depending on whether this item, item is active in the organization or not. We can then define the item name or number. This can be a unique identifier. We can also define the name of this item, which has to be displayed on different forms and different invoices. A UPC code or a barcode can also be defined so that it can be used with handheld devices. And then we can also classify this item as a sub item of an existing item or an item group. Further classification of this item can be done by department or class. This enables us to do reporting based on different criteria that has been defined for the organization. The reports can then be sliced and diced based on the department or class that you have defined as part of the item master. Scrolling down under the inventory tab of this item setup, you can see that the sales description as well as purchase description of the item are defined here. You can also define a purchase price. This is the price that you will pay every time this is purchased from, from the vendor and a transfer price which will be applicable every time this item is transferred from one location to another location in the organization. We may also enable this item for drop shipment or for special orders. Now drop shipment enables this item to be ordered back to back. So if you have received a sales order for this item, clicking on this drop ship shipment flag will enable the system NetSuite to create an automatic purchase order for that item to the vendor and that vendor will be shipping the item directly to the customer instead of it coming to your organization. The special order item flag actually enables it to be done in a just-in-time format in which every sales order for this item will automatically create a purchase order for this item to the vendor but the vendor will ship items to your organization where you will accept it and then ship it forward to your customer. Scrolling down further we can see the inventory management setup here. One of the important factors to consider here is the replenishment method. It can either be by reorder point or by time feast. By selecting the reorder point method, you can define the inventory level at which this item must be replenished into your organization by creating a purchase order or a work order. The reorder point is actually defined on a location to location basis. So if you have this item being stored in multiple locations in your organization, you will have to define the reorder point for each of these locations separately. Another replenishment method available is the time phase method. Now this method helps you to use the demand planning and supply chain uh, supply planning functionality in NetSuite to create purchase orders so that replenishment can be done into your organization. If this item is stored in multiple locations in your organization, you can also define the lead time and the safety stock level you'd like to maintain for this item uh, on a per location basis. The lot sizing method over here enables you to select a fixed lot size. So if I enter a fixed lot size for this item, every time I place an order for this item, a fixed lot size will be ordered. Or I may select a lot for lot option, which enables you to order exact quantity that is required at any point in time based on a demand plan that, it, that has been generated. Another option is to use a periods of supply where you can order this item on a periodic basis, on a monthly or a weekly basis based on 
whatever replenishment method you've chosen. Next we'll take a look at the item pricing configuration over here in this tab. NetSuite enables you to define multiple prices for this item in multiple currencies as well as based on different price levels that are being offered to employees or to wholesalers or any other option that you've chosen here. You can also define quantity based discounts over here based on multiple slabs of quantities and effective discounts offered at these different quantities. You can also define different quantity pricing schedules under this option to create a predetermined list of slabs where discounts will be applicable based on different quantities. So if I select a different pricing schedule here, you can see that the slabs will change. Now we'll take a look at the item accounting configuration over here in this tab. So it allows you to define different accounts to use for cost of goods sold as assets for income as well as gains and losses for this item separately. You can also define the default units of measure for it to be used when the item is in inventory or when you're, when you're purchasing the item or when sales are being done for this item. Further below, we can select the tax configuration here. The tax schedule for this item can be selected over here. And we may also configure the cost estimation by using one of these options available under cost estimation types. And that brings us to the end of this overview of item related configurations in inventory. Thanks.